So my calendar on my phone and on my laptop is split up into three categories. Category one, edible arrangements, which is shown in red. Category one, job number one, whatever. Category two is fast phone repair, which is in orange. Category three, steezy, or myself, or personal, is in blue. Now. It's not very often that there are any days in my calendar that don't have one of those three colors on it. There's always something going on between edible arrangements, between fast phone, and between steezy and steezy videography, shooting wedding videos, or just personal things with my friends or family. But every once in a while, there comes a day or a time where those things all collide onto one day. Today is one of those days. So today I basically started my day by a text message from a random person saying, hey, I saw your ad, I saw you do wedding videos, and I'm in a really tough spot because my videographer canceled last minute. Is there any way that you could shoot my wedding in three weeks? And of course I said yes. I'm open that day, I can make it work, let's do it. So I spent the morning talking to him about doing a wedding video when we can meet to talk more about it and pricing and all that jazz. And then from there I went straight to Edible Arrangements. The owners of Edible Arrangements are on vacation. And while they're on vacation, I need to make sure that I'm running both the stores and making sure that they're okay and that all the employees are okay and if any problems arise, I need to be there and be available. And now, it is about Five-ish, five, four thirty, five-ish, and I need to be in Grand Forks um, to work at the Grand Forks fast phone repair store for the next few days. The next, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is a prime example of all three things on my schedule overlapping onto one day. Have a three and a half to four hour drive. Uh, to Grand Forks right now, so I'll probably uh, see you in Grand Forks around uh, 10, 9 ish, 10 ish. I don't know, my watch is a little off. It's only been, I don't know, like a freaking hour. I have like three, it's like 7.30 right now. I think I'm supposed to get there at like 10.30. So I got like three more hours of freaking driving and I already ran out of gas. It should be my only stop. I'm being Grand Forks in like three hours. It is like 10.30 now, I just got to Grand Forks. I just stopped the store quick because I haven't seen, I haven't seen our sign since it's been illuminated or lit up at night. And I just wanted to see it. Looks pretty fucking sweet. 
So on the drive here, when I stopped to get gas, I checked my email and I got another wedding inquiry for Saturday, which is in three days. And I was gonna be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but now it may look like I'm going to be here Thursday, Friday, and have to get home Saturday, film a wedding on Saturday, and yeah. All this work stuff, it's like, it's kind of a lot, but like, it, it kind of gets me super jacked, super excited. There's a certain kind of like energy you get from like, you know, just grinding it out. You know, just like, oh shit, I need to be in Grand Forks. Time to drive, four hours. And then now, again, I get here and then realize, oh, I need to cut a day short to go back to shoot a wedding. No, it's times like this that make me feel like a, like a real entrepreneur, you know? Like a young entrepreneur, a millennial entrepreneur. Millennial or uh, millennial entrepreneur. Millennial entrepreneur. Sounds like a good title for a video. It's now like 11 o'clock, 10.59, I'm gonna go to bed.